This reading is for Capricorn for mid-April year 2024. Please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. This is a general reading. Allah, please send Capricorn 200 angels to stand, guard, guide, and protect. Allah, please send me 200 angels to stand, guard, guide, and protect me. As I open this portal, I do not partner you with my divination, but I ask of you to guide me through so that my readings are truthful, accurate, and honest. The first card out is the Eight of Cups. So you could have got tired of the current restrictions. You possibly got tired of the current events. Um, you could have walked away, you know, trying to find uh, relocation or happiness or love elsewhere, or someone walked away from you. You have the Eight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody walked completely away from all emotions and feelings. We got the Seven of Pentacles here. Somebody feels as though something was lost of an investment. Also, be um, cautious of financial advisors. Double check your bank accounts. Double check any accounts. And be careful um, with sensitive information. Okay? Take stock in in inventory of your finances with the seven of pentacles there's not going to be a reconciliation okay there's no flexibility there was no growth somebody was very argu argumentative there was conflict in interests and conflict with communication so conflict is dominating someone's life somebody has to remain calm they can't have so much conflict. They can't be mad all the time. They have to show mercy towards others. Show me the Eight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and the Temperance Angel in reverse. Marriage is over. A union is over. Someone doesn't believe in higher learning, professionalism, let alone uh, even go to the damn doctors regularly. Friends betrayed you or someone else. There's slander and gossip. Someone took some bad advice, and that bad advice serves someone else's needs. Someone definitely has loss of faith here. Someone doesn't have any religious belief or any educational like systems going for themselves. They just don't believe in education or institution, educational institution. Somebody was trying to be untraditional and unconventional with their ideas and plans. And this is why someone walked away or you walked away or this person got thrown away, I should say. Somebody got thrown away. Somebody gave up. Who, who said enough was enough? Allah, who said, okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. King of Cups. Somebody could have a caring personality, extremely friendly and outgoing. Balanced and considerate of others. Responsible. Others can count on him or her. Gives wise advice. Somebody wanted to be in a position of authority. Someone has respect from many. And love, someone is trustworthy and given. That could just be a persona. That could just be what someone appears to be. But deep down inside, reveal the true identity of this person. Five of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Deep down inside, Five of Pentacles. They're facing disaster due to heartbreak. Due to third party, they're actually burdened. Ten of Wands. Like I said, that could have been a, a parent. Um, someone wanted to appear that way. Trustworthy, loving, and kind. You know, but they're not. 
somebody is in the five of pentacles and the three of swords and they're burdened. Somebody could have lost a home. They could have lost money. Okay. Could have health problems, lost, uh, you know, support from family and friends because somebody was a player. So we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, 10 of wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, eight of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, three of wands, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Huh. Well, this is the truth. Somebody was not who they appeared to be. Ooh. Somebody got to take responsibility now. Mm-hmm. Now they're experiencing a loss that they cannot, they cannot avoid. Somebody plans backfired. Now the responsibilities is heavy on someone's mind. A price will be paid for that. Mm-hmm. They're being shaken. Events is out of control. Somebody is definitely arguing. Damn. Seven of Swords is in reverse. Somebody lost a relationship that was real, that was enduring for some fake bull crap here. It's like, I guess if this person, like I said, could be anybody. We got the King of Pentacles out here again. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the King of Cups, Eight of Cups. That's the water. Seven of Pentacles, the investment. It's like somebody felt as though it was a waste of investment to even be with this person. Three of Swords, Knight of Wands, player energy, marriage is over, no union, no higher learning, Five of Pentacles, disaster, you know, that's taking place right now, and there's not going to be any re reconciliation. There's a whole lot of arguments, fights, disagreements with this King of, uh, this Capricorn. I was looking at the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So in any event, the truth is being shown. The Ace of Swords. You could have made an honorable and just decision or someone else made an honorable, just decision to cause an ending to end it. You you or someone else had to cause an ending to this so you can go through a rebirth, vice versa. Somebody cannot balance out anything in their damn life. Each day it's like they're it's filled with drudgery. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody has to get their life back on track. Somebody's not at their strong point here. That's why that Two of Pentacles is in reverse. They dread. They they're they're having dreadful days. They can't manifest a damn thing. They don't have no control over bad luck. They didn't even recognize good opportunities when they see them. Somebody was attempted to deceive you and others, and that's why they lost support with the five of pentacles here. They, they are in a tower. This emperor, Emperor Aries, could be a father, father figure. There's no truce. Four of swords, no truce, no sleep. They got these people are getting what they asked for. See, you come out, you could be the king of pentacles or the queen of pentacles. A relationship is over. It's broken. There was too much interference and infidelity. Okay? And you're not, yep, you're moving forward. Chariot, either you or someone else is moving forward successfully. Mm-hmm. Into it, into the lovers. Somebody could have been traveling towards this lover. The three of swords is here successfully thinking that this was going to be a master plan. But instead, that master plan backfired. Somebody could have been breadcrumbing you, breadcrumbing an empress. Okay. 
not taking care of their kids, not even, you know, blessing their children the way that they are supposed to. You have the Page of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and the Eight of Wands. You have the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and communication. So there could be children involved. Mm, never know when this, when this emperor is coming. Never knowing when this emperor is telling the truth. So if this emperor goes around their children, it's like they're being forced to. Gets angry, full of revenge. Judgment is in reverse. The moral path was not taken. Somebody is more possessed over material possessions. Somebody is seeking revenge. Someone needs to get a grip. They don't want to recognize their own part or their own failure. They refuse to take responsibilities for their errors and their inability to compromise. Okay? A lot of revenge here. They're not even searching. They're not doing no soul searching. The past is holding this person up. They don't want to see that they're creating most of the conflict for themselves. So this is why you had to walk away or someone had to walk away from you. Not even able to make a firm decision in life is scary. Somebody is only out for quick, rich schemes. Somebody has a tendency to be aggressive. We got the devil in reverse, controlling, manipulative cruel somebody definitely is having money trouble here well that's their choice right they chose to restrict themselves somebody has inadequate social skills and low self-esteem they try to dominate others someone could have been trying to dominate you or your you know just be too aggressive this could even be you doing this. Somebody's better at spending money than earning it. They get into relationships for money, to be handed, you know, money, not to work for it. But they get into relationships so somebody can take care of them. Show me the Six of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, that's a reckless decision because this person who was doing this is not committal. They will never commit. Knight of Cups is in reverse. They're non-committal. They have mood swings. They have reckless decisions filled with chaos. They don't give a damn about reason. Somebody was trusting the wrong people or person. Now someone is starting to feel lonely. Somebody took the wrong direction completely. Now they're in the five of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now they're in the five of cups. Loss of relationship, grief. Yeah, because they were chasing the illusion only to wound themselves. Only to wound themselves, causing nuisance and arguments with their nine of wands. Somebody has to reach the end. When they reach the end, they're supposed to go through an ascension. But I doubt it. Going through an ascension, it could be, like I said, it could be willingly or it could be forcefully. Somebody's heart is heavy. It feels empty. They have to have, either you or someone else have to have new goals and projects. There's overindulgence in food and alcohol. Lack of moderation. Emotional upheaval is definitely manifesting. Due to the Ten of Swords, somebody thought that being in this Three of Cups, this energy, like they can just celebrate willy-nilly and don't have consequences. They got consequences right now. Because now they're bottoming out and trouble is on the way and they're thinking like a victim as always. And because they refuse to change this mindset, their life is going to spiral downward. Plans and projects are in jeopardy. Someone's home life is disrupted in any area of this person's life, whether it's you or someone else is open to conflict. No matter how powerful and safe these people think that they are, trouble is going to find them. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If this is not your story, don't force it to be. Show me the, the, the betrayal. 
with the Ten of Swords and the Three of Cups. Nine of Swords, yep, put someone in some misery and some great pain. So somebody was getting, um, somebody was trying to be controlling, okay, like pushing someone away for this Three of Cups. Now they got the damn Three of Cups. So if you hurt somebody, it's going to come back to you with the Ten of Swords. If someone hurt you, put you in that Nine of Swords energy and the Ten of Swords, it's going back to that individual. Yeah, you know to remain calm. You know that you are protected or someone knows that they are uh, protected from you. You have peace and you have strength. You will be preoccupied with a passive reaction. You're going to let others overreact while you remain calm and sure of the outcome. The answers to all your questions is inside of you. Just tap into your intuition. A mysterious, desirable, yet unattainable woman may enter your life. An unattainable man or woman may enter your life. You could be defensive or someone could be defensive from you. You have the advantage, okay, and you will eventually win. You have to be aggressive, and expect critics to your challenges, to your authority. You stood up for yourself. You stood up for your ideas. And you would never regret it, even though it may seem, you know, you was aggressive at the time. You had to be because people compete for your energy and your resources. The Nine of Pentacles. So your money is safe. This is the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. You could have been taking care of your family, or family could have been taking care of you. But this is wealth here. Someone could be receiving $20,000. Between two thousand to twenty thousand, this could be you to, like I said, taking care of your family, taking care of a group, or just being blessed with your hard work. That's investment, and that's what they're jealous of. That's what these people or person, whoever is jealous of, even your ex, that cycle period is closed out. You got the Queen of Wands in reverse, Leo Aries Sagittarius. It doesn't necessarily have to be a fire sign. It could just be someone in this energy. It could be you in this energy or someone else. They could have fire in their chart. But someone appears to be attractive, but it's aloof. Somebody plays games with, you know, people's minds. They're not really interested in any career advancement. They work if they have to. Yeah, somebody is very controlling and vindictive here. There's a cycle period that is closed the hell out. Someone has no energy and loss of momentum. Goals have been forgotten. Someone has lack of insight. They refuse to take any responsibility. Somebody refuses to change, and that's what's keeping them from success and happiness. Someone is not going to be able, this Queen of Wands in reverse with the wheel card is not going to be able to um, have any growth because they keep doing the same thing for far too long. Show me... 
Show me this Queen of Wands in reverse with the World card in reverse for Capricorn. Yeah, see? The hangman is in reverse. Somebody is, is, is too preoccupied with internal battles and they can't make sense of their problems because they're not going to take any responsibility. They're not going to hold no type of responsibility for their own actions, for their errors. They're just going to keep making the same damn mistakes and telling damn lies, but watching you possibly be successful here. Okay. Yeah, you're moving on completely. Ace of Cups, you're making new memories. Six of Swords, you're moving to Karma Waters. You have turned your back. You're not fighting. You're done with the fighting. Okay, somebody was trying to cheat you. And it caught up with them. And like I said in the beginning of this reading, do not trust anyone with your sensitive information regarding finances. Watch out for deceitful people. Okay, do not underestimate your opponents. They are they appear to be more powerful, but they lost the battle. You may not realize this until it's too late or they haven't realized until it's too late. They lost the battle. They've been defeated. Okay, they just want to keep doing the same damn thing over and over again, not realizing that they have already been defeated. So this person or people or you take what resonates, refuses to take any accountability. So for this Capricorn, particularly that I'm picking up, you know, you're a hard worker. You're receiving your blessings. You're receiving your income the way that God has intended. Um, you, you do put in hard work. You do take care of your family. And whoever was playing games with you, they wanted to be filled with anger and revenge. They restricted themselves. They can't move forward at all. At all. They have to suffer in their consequences. So you're good to go from what I'm seeing. What's the outcome for Capricorn? Look what came out. Toes and labor. What's the outcome for Capricorn? Marriage is over. Marriage came out in reverse. Message of concern is in reverse. Somebody's stuck in poverty here. They didn't want to work, right? They didn't want to work to earn their keep. So somebody's imprisonment and in poverty, okay? Um, they could be in jail. Someone could be in jail. And they're not getting any conversary or this, like I said, they trap themselves in poverty by doing wrong. Or this could be you. Show me marriage in reverse with message of concern in reverse, imprisonment and poverty for Capricorn. Somebody thought that you was going to continue to give to them with unexpected income. Somebody thought that they were going to receive. They didn't get it. Sudden wealth is in reverse. That was the expectation. That was the expectation was for you to continue to give or vice versa. Yep. Somebody could have moved or you could have had changed. Things changed. Yep. You got a message of going on a journey. You could be going on a journey. Someone could be going on a journey, but things definitely changed. Somebody thought the same thought pattern like, well, Capricorn is still going to give to me or, or Capricorn was thinking this, but you know, that you're not the official person or they're not the official person. So you don't have to give them a damn thing. Mm -hmm. High honor. Your children is high honor here. So I could be talking to a single mother. Your children is high honor. Your new beginnings is high honor. You're not going to take from your kids and you are not in bad health. You're not courting this person anymore, so you don't have to give them nothing. They're thieves. Whoever you was dealing with, they're nothing but a thief or vice versa. After this divorce or court case, whatever, there's going to be an ending. Show me coffin and court case. You're going to follow your passions, okay? Show me court case and coffin.
Uh, if you want to be trusted, be honest. So somebody's going to go to court trying to lie. Mm-hmm. Gossip, lies, and backbiting. And that's not going to work in court. You could love the sound of this. Okay? Yep. Because the rewards. What's the rewards for Capricorn? Single. No, I'm just in a relationship with freedom. A single mother has a backbone made of steel and a heart of gold. And you possibly told this person, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Get out of my face. No, thank you. I got, you got the Ten of Cups here. You and your children. See, a single mother has a backbone made of steel and a heart of gold. And you got the Ten of Cups here. You being single, you're more balanced without this individual. Okay? You have your own visions. So what's the outcome? The dishonesty was exposed. Damn. Show me dishonesty in the sun. A Leo even could have been dishonest. Show me dishonest in the sun. Oozed. Okay, we got the... Stay safe and have fun. Y'all know what that is. You can use your own mind. Stay safe and have fun. Okay? With that flag there. The fuck. Okay. So, pay attention to the seven of swords. That's what that's what you were doing. We got father and child, and we have the flag here, and then we have stay safe and have fun. I'm going to let you put that together, okay? So you paid attention to the deception. Sometimes, you know, homeboys, they, they have a tendency of being a little bit too tight, okay? Yep. Education is the key to success. There's no kid. You're not doing that. You you're you got self love here. You're focused on success. You got self love, and you're not gonna play that competition game. If you want me in your life, put me there. I shouldn't be fighting for a spot. Okay. So if somebody is bisexual and they are a man, you're not competing with another man for your man. I hope that makes sense.